Hey Dave, what does a win like this do for a team that is potentially going to be playing in the wild card in a single elimination game? Um, it was a huge win. Um, a lot to unpack there. Um, you know, regardless of what's going on um, around us, for our guys to be relentless and the offense to pick us up tonight, uh, contributions from so many guys, uh, really special night, uh, speaks a lot to the guys. Um, you know, Max didn't have his best stuff, didn't have the command tonight. And um, again, for the offense to come in, it, it was something special. So the object of the game is to win baseball games. And, and we won a game uh, with a crazy explosion in the eighth inning. And uh, co again, contribution from, from everyone. And how big was that swing for Cody Bellinger and just what it does for his confidence, especially coming off of the injured list? It, it's, it's amazing. Um, ball top of the zone. Um, Cody, like we talked about earlier, is um, he's got he's in a good place mentally, a good place physically. Um, he was ready when called upon. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully Gavin's, uh, you know, neck stinger uh, doesn't keep him down for too long. But Cody came in, stepped up and huge hit for us. And um, I give him all the credit, the hitting guys, and um, we needed it. And so for him to have some type of uh, positive reinforcement, uh, a positive result, I know that uh, his teammates were, were really excited for him. And you mentioned Gavin Lux, uh, um, you said a, a next singer, but how is he doing? And have you guys run any tests? And what do you think is his next for him? Um, I, I think it's kind of uh, sit tight. Um, hopefully he wakes up and it's not too stiff and too sore. Um, you know, so typically it's a couple day thing. So we'll see. I, I just, we don't know until uh, tomorrow and see how he wakes up. But, um, you know, that's just kind of what this game is. Guys got to pick each other up. And uh, Cody in that specific spot picked us up tonight. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Next question is from JP Hornstra. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, I wanted to go back to Max for a minute. Uh, what, what's basically been the story with him these last couple starts? Um, well, yeah, it's been two. Um, Colorado, I, I think it was one of those things. He hadn't, I don't know if he's ever pitched in Colorado and uh, just didn't have really good feel. And that's something you got to kind of learn to, to deal with. And I'll make the excuse for him, but the feel of the baseball. Um, here, he just didn't have good command. I think that... <clears throat> At times, the curveball was good. Other times, the cutter and the uh, the changeup just weren't commanded. And uh, you're going to have that, but uh, it's part of the game. And, like, you know, he's picked us up many times over, and we picked him up. So it's, it's baseball, and uh, he was one of the happiest guys after we won a ball game. Um, I asked Corey this earlier. I'll throw it to you. You know, after you guys fell down, uh, I think 9-5 to five it was there in the seventh inning, what was like the turning point uh, in your mind uh, for the comeback? Well, I, I think that um, Phil coming in and um, not uh, giving up any runs was huge to keep the, the game at four. And Mookie turning on a 2-0 heater to make it within three. And then from right there, it just kind of gave us a little bit of extra life. And, you know, AJ's been amazing all year, um, you know, so the, the top of the zone, up and away quadrant to hit a homer that way when the ball's not carrying. Um, Corey hit a ball, 109. It was just, you know, incredible. Justin's at bat off the bench. I mean, just so many things. So really good, um, just all the way around contributions. And uh, Corey said he didn't know the Giants had won when he stepped up to the plate there. Uh, were you watching that portion of the scoreboard by that point? You know, I, I was, I saw it. Um, so I'm sure some of the guys saw it, but it didn't affect how we performed and didn't quit and kept fighting. And you still want to win as many games as you can. So, uh, you know, credit to the guys. Thank you. Next question is from Ron Kavanagh. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, can you remember your reaction after seeing the senior homer or was it kind of a bit of a blur for you? Uh, I, I think I went both arms up. Um, you know, to, to come back that far and to take the lead, to be able to hand the ball to Kenley and not have to deal with extra innings. Um, I think I went both arms up and I think I gave AJ a high five. So it was just a lot of good emotion and 
Um, Krizmat's had our number for quite some time. So for us to put up a crooked number against them was, was nice. And then this stretch with Seager really since, you know, the start of September, especially, but going back a couple months, does it feel kind of like, you know, last postseason, that stretch that he had a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Um, Corey's been in playoff mode for quite some time, and uh, he's led the charge offensively as far as consistency of at bat. Um, and it was nice to see other guys kind of follow that lead. And um, Corey's a special player, so um, – you know, when he's staying in the strike zone like he has been, you know, he's an elite company. Thank you. Yeah. Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. <clears throat> Go ahead. Hey, Dave, uh, you batted leadoff for the Padres uh, and went 0 for 6 with four. Don't go there, Dylan. Game. Don't go there, Dylan. In the four plus one game. Uh, how much did this remind you of that and how much nicer was it to be on this side of things than the, than the other side? Since you brought it up, uh, it certainly reminded me of that night. Um, I think it was like the Marlon Anderson hit a homer. I know Nomar hit one to take the lead or to walk us off. Um, it re- certainly had, you know, feelings of that. And to be in this dugout, much better feeling uh, than being in the visiting dugout. Um, but, yeah, same to opponents and a uh, lot of the same vibe. I remember being out there. Thank you for that. Thanks, Dave. Last one's from DG. Go ahead, DG. Dave, just wondering, when Mookie hits that bomb to lead off the seventh, I think it cut it to three or four. Three. Any three. Sense, yeah. Did you get any sense then that something special might happen? I did. I did, actually. And and Bob Guerin, who was sitting beside me, is after he hit the home run, he said, we're going to win this game. And uh, who's uh, an eternal, eternal optimist. But – Mookie getting a 2-0 heater and just being aggressive with it. And I think he said it's one of the hardest balls he's ever hit. And um, I, it just kind of, you know, you get within three, you feel like you got a shot. And so guys behind that followed up. And to see how it played out, pretty incredible, um, you know, that eighth inning. But getting it within three, I felt we had a good chance. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave.